Okay guys, so this is the uh, the next set of lettering that we're going to have a go at. It's exactly the same format as before. We need a landscape grid, we need our piece of A4 attached to that landscape grid with a piece of tape and we're going to construct, to begin with, um, a rectangular cuboid. This of course is non-rectangular isometric projection where some of the lines are not at 30 or 90 degrees. But it's much easier to draw a rectangular cuboid first. So here we go. One, two, three, four, 50 millimeters high, 10 millimeters deep, 40 millimeters wide, exactly the same as before. To begin with, all of the lines follow the 30 and 90 degree grid. The difference today is that some of those lines that we then draw subsequently will not be at 30 or 90 degrees. Okay guys, so we're going to draw the, the easiest of the letters first, that's the letter A. So the centre of the A is right in the middle and our first non-rectangular line runs from the centre down to the corner. Okay, and then it, from the, obviously from this point here it runs to the other corner, like so. And then we need to measure a distance of 10 millimetres away from here and we need to draw a line parallel to this line. So if this line starts here and finishes here, it's going to finish 10 millimetres away here. So I can draw a fairly light line to begin with there. And then I can measure 10 millimetres away here, and the same thing again, 10 millimetres away here, I can draw another parallel line, like so. I need a 5 millimetre gap here, so I then draw a 30 degree line uh, across there and then I need another 10 millimeter gap up to here and you can now see the uh, outline of the A has been created I just need to project it now across here down here and project this bit of 30 degrees this bit of 30 degrees and you can see that is the finished A now the, fit, the letter X is a little bit more complicated. You need to measure 10 millimetres away from each corner. So you do that measurement eight times. Two from each corner, so you've got eight marks. And then turn the paper and draw a non-rectangular line and another non-rectangular line. And then turn it round and draw a third non-rectangular line and a fourth non-rectangular line. You can begin to see the letter X appearing now. All we need to do is project it 10 millimetres from each point. 10 millimetres across here, 10 millimetres there, 10 millimetres there, 10 millimetres there, 10 millimetres here, and finally 10 millimetres there. And then we just line up the underside of that X and the top side of the X, and that is the letter X finished. Finally, the letter W. This is really quite tricky uh, but you just need to remember that we need to imagine that this object has been created using sticks of material 10 by 10. So if we think about that then the number of sticks that have been used to create the letter A that's right there are three the number of sticks that have been used to create the letter X are two and actually the number of sticks you'll see when we come to create the letter W, there are in fact four. Here we go. We need a five millimeter measurement in here. You've got that on your sheet with all the measurements on it. And then we draw a non-rectangular line down to here. And then the same as before, we need to go 10 millimeters away from here, 10 millimeters away from here, and draw a parallel line. On the other side, we come five millimeters in here and draw a non-rectangular line. And then another 10 millimeters and a 10 millimeter line to make these two lines parallel. Find the center, just like we did on the A. This time, draw it to the corner of the W on one side and the corner of the W on the other. Then we've got this little bit here. Well, that's quite straightforward. It's going to go from here to here. That's lining up with these two here, so we draw we don't need to draw the whole line, otherwise it gets confused. 
and this line will be parallel to this line so I'm just going to effectively draw it from here to that point there but again I don't need to draw the whole thing I can just draw that section of it and again you can now see I hope the outline of the W in front of you all you need to do now is project it so we go 10 millimeters across here and draw this section of the W 10 millimeters of 30 degrees 10 millimeters of 30 degrees 10 millimeters of 30 degrees not quite 10 millimeters of 30 degrees that's the bits of the W at the bottom that we can see and the final line is this line here that line is again parallel to this line so just make those line up sorry not quite the final line one more line here this line here is parallel with that line there and there is your W finish before I do finish however I will thick and thin line technique it so I'm just going to if we remember the spider analogy I can go around this object and darken up the lines where if the spider were crawling from face to face it would disappear from view. If it does disappear from view you need to thicken up that line. So all the way around the outline of this object I can thicken up the line. Around here, here, here see what a difference that makes to the three-dimensional effect. Very good.